Hey, what's up? What's up, y'all? We are back. Back. We are here. We're... He's queer. <laughs> Get used to it. <laughs> we are back in full force. Welcome to technically season two. Oh. Yes, that's just, we'll just yeah. say that since we had a... Uh, that other shit was the pilot. That was- <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're in fucking season one. <laughs> that, that was just to see if we're going to get picked up again. So, <laughs> so yeah, but we are back and, um, you know, food for thought, real quick, I just want you guys to know that um, there's a couple, there's a phrase I want you to, actually a group name I want you to remember. Just remember the group TLC. Ooh. Hmm... Anyway, so, <laughs> Olivia, what the fuck have you been up to? Oh my gosh, so we haven't been together like this since, like, what, May? I looked, okay, so I looked at our YouTube channel, and the last time we recorded was four fucking months ago. Oh, shit. So we both better have a success story. A success story. <laughs> success <Wow>. story. <laughs> we both better have some epic stories to, um... Uh, you know, redeem ourselves from our huge hiatus, but I know I've been busier than a motherfucker. Yeah, probably. yeah, same here. I took multiple trips. I went to a wedding with a really close friend of mine in Ensenada in Mexico. It was beautiful. And Did you say empanada? <laughs> no, oh. but I want one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but, um, and then after, you know, like some other like transitions in my life as far as you know, like switching jobs, finding new careers, and like my everyday life. Um, you know, which you know is I always forget that how much anxiety you can get from like starting anew, just like starting fucking fresh and taking a leap, like into the unknown, like starting a new job, meeting new friends. You know, like because there's always a lot of give and take. Oh my when god! You, have, you start yep. something fucking fresh and new. Well, so, everybody is so afraid of. Um, breaking out of their comfort zone yeah. and that's what I've learned for this especially these pa- this past two months but for the past four months I finally left my employer of uh, 13 years Damn. and um, I have some great memories with this employer I have great stories I've met incredible people but you know what the day I left walking out it was like the biggest epic oh god how do I even explain it just I felt free I felt un, un, unclutched, un, um, just, I, I didn't feel like I was chained to something. The chains were broken. Jesus, you have no idea. The and glitter is all out. It, it, I could finally wear makeup and be myself. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know what? But um, I did that. I have some new ventures that are starting to happen. You guys are going to hear about that. Uh, maybe not in this episode, but... Definitely, you will hear about it because I'd love to talk about myself. Let's just be honest, you know, as both of us do. But that's yeah. okay. That's why we're doing this. But yeah, and um, I have uh, found some really great friends. I um, visited old friends that I can't get the fuck rid of, and <laughs> I would I would not change that for anything. But yeah, I and and you know, even at forty six, because I turned forty six in October. Happy belated birthday! Thank you, boo. To Michael. Yes. So forty six and still fucking slaying it. And juicy, juicy. I tell Plump. people, yes, juicy. I I tell people all the time. I would rather be juicy and a thick boy than look like a fucking crackhead. <laughs> and you know what I'm talking about, girl. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. because I've seen like all my friends were all the same age, other than. You know, I'm talking about the friends that I grew up with. God, they, y'all look so fucking old. Ugh. <laughs> disgusting. It's disgusting. They need to take some makeup advice from you. They need bigger brows. <laughs> they need a shit ton of bronzer. <laughs> they need a shit ton of highlights. Speaking of, I, so I went to Arizona recently, and all the pictures that we took of each other, I was like, why do I look like a big Samoan woman that's trying to look chola? And those brows, girl, and that Arizona heat don't play. You saw that video of me oh where my, my eyebrow God. is about to slide off. It's like, but... <laughs> you can like see it in the fucking picture. It's like, <laughs> girl, and I still thought I looked cute, cuter than a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, but you know what? That's what this uh, whole, our whole life and journey is all about is moving forward, learning things. And you know what? More than anything, Learning from our fucking mistakes. Absolutely. You know, there's nothing... How old are you? I am 30. Oh, God. Girl. 
Oh my god, the last time, like, we... I don't even remember if we recorded after my fucking birthday. God, has it been so long? Have we met? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Who the fuck? Get, Get the fuck out of, out of my house. <laughs> um, but no, so... Um, oh, I want to celebrate something, Olivia. You are now in a healthy, committed relationship since last time. Oh! What's up? Yeah. Um, yeah, Jay is upstairs. I love him. He's, I honestly do. He's such a cool guy. You know, you know, a whole bunch of transition, you know, also in my personal life, um, as far as like dating and everything. And like, it's just really nice to make, to meet someone that just, you are just so fucking compatible with. Mm. And it's just so fucking easy. It's so easy. It's so easy. And we make our lives so much easier. And that's what it's about. You know, at first, you know, like I said, like I would, you know, you know, I was nervous about it before, anxious about it before, but then like you just have to like, you know, exhale, exhale the fucking past. And dive in. You know, as Madonna, who <laughs> we'll get into that in a minute, she says, it's one of my favorite quotes by her, um, my favorite song by her of all time, Get Together. She says, if it's bitter in the start, it's always going to be sweeter in the end. Mm. So that doesn't have to mean about this particular relationship yeah. it's past relationships you know because yeah. who who are you now compared to who you were 10 years ago in a relationship oh jesus you're not you the know. same fucking person nope no and could you imagine if you were that same person you wouldn't have met who you have now exactly isn't that crazy i was a fucking bitch <laughs> were you really uptight like naive selfish I think uh, I, I, I still am, but <laughs> it's not as bad. <laughs> but at least you own up to it and you know who you are. You know? Yeah, I'll take it. Because let's put it this way. I don't care how much money, how much coin you got in your bag. Oh, I love that term. Mm. Um, if you do not have self-awareness, you ain't got shit. Exactly. You know, because there's nothing worse than, you know, especially people my age that are 46 as well. And you see them doing these same mistakes they did 20 years ago. Yeah. It's sad. Mm -hmm. It's sad. I have family members that still do it to this day. I'm not going to say who. Um, but it's okay if you make mistakes. Just work on it. Learn from them. You know? Yes. Kind of like my slidey eyebrows. <laughs> We're going to work on it. We're going to fucking learn from it. I fucking put so much primer on those goddamn brows. and they. St but you know what? They actually stay up pretty good. It's just that Arizona heat, girl. It don't play. It does not play. So anyway, anything new cosmetically with you? Let's see. Well, I've been focusing a lot on my hairs. Mm. On my fucking hair. I think I have, I counted the other day, I have 16 products that I have in my cupboard, like in my bathroom, and I still have more in a closet that I haven't even opened yet. Um, can I have, or was it, is it this closet we're in here? Or at home, <laughs> at your house. Here. Oh, I you're not to, going through shit. I was about okay? to say I might have to swing by that fucking closet. You can stay with your fucking Dove soap. <laughs> okay. But oh I recently, like, um, you know, I used to be super self conscious about my hair growing up because living living in a state where like there's you know not a lot of like people of color mm -hmm. and. At the time, even though like my mom is Korean and she would take me to like Korean hairstylists, Korean hairstylists like understood my hair and they would cut my hair, but they would never like listen to me and like give me what I wanted. Right, right. But whenever whenever I went to like other like hairstylists, you know, they're mainly like white women, they were like so afraid to touch my hair or like <gasps> they would just like make me feel uncomfortable because they're like, Ooh, your hair is different. What so the fuck? we're gonna charge you more. So why we're didn't you do guys... this? We're gonna do that. And I'm like, I like, I'm you know I'm sitting there as a little as like a younger girl, like embarrassed. And like, of course you. And that's I'm gonna... like, you know what? Yep. Fuck it. Like I'd rather just I know how to work with my shit. I'm gonna do my shit. So like lately I've just been embracing, like just taking care of like the health of my hair. And I recently got a silk press done. Mm. I got a silk press done by this wonderful woman that like she lives on um, on post 
No, what the fuck is a silk press? Okay. I was like, because I'm looking at your hair. Is this what, what you got done last week? No, I got, okay, I got a silk press. Because I felt like such shit ago. about that. <laughs> we were supposed to record last week, and Olivia says to me, like a little kid waiting for her dad to come from back from the army, you know, being deployed. I don't know what that knock was. I guess that's him at the door. <laughs> Dad, so is that you? I said, girl, something came up. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. And she goes to me. She goes, but I got my hair done and everything. I, my heart sank so bad because I, I was like, like, oh, shit. I'm sorry. Got Anyways, shit done for nothing. cold so, press. Silk press. Silk press. So a silk press is like where you, you know, you get your hair washed, shampooed, you like your scalp scrubbed, you get a deep conditioner in. And then after someone blow dries your hair, they blow dry it straight, then they flat iron it, but she used a fucking flat, a steam iron. So it's like a steam flat iron that actually has like a compartment where she has like an argan oil serum. So while it's steaming, oh. it infuses that fucking serum into the hair. Into the cuticle. Into the fucking cuticle. Yeah, your and hair does my look hair good. was so fucking silky and like bone straight like i was like who the fuck am i i'm a new fucking <gasps> can but i like, do it but my, yes but my hair was so fucking like just looks so healthy she even trimmed it and ever since then i was like fuck i gotta fucking take care of my hair so i got a fucking steam iron i found it on amazon it came it came with like five fucking bottles of this like vapor serum argan shit and I've been using it, and my hair has been looking healthy and, like, mm. silky. Yeah. So I've just been, like, focusing on, like, my hair. However, I will say this. Um, I went to San Diego. Okay. Um, like, uh, two And by the way, ago. I've said this before in um, our pilot episodes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you guys ever get a chance to see Olivia in person, she has... I'm looking at her hair again. I love looking at her hair. She has probably the best hair I've ever seen in my entire life. It Aww. is, it's thick. It, I mean, it looks, um, it looks otherworldly. Like it's not real, but it's real. It's beautiful. I probably have like maybe three or four, or even five times the amount of like normal people. Yeah, like, I mean the only my hair I've seen. Fucking ponytail is like this fucking thick. Yep, um, the only hair that I've seen that's even prettier is mine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, I mean, you're look wrong. at that shit, girl. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> What's up? Um, so you went to Ensenada? No, I went to San Diego. Oh, sorry. I went to San Diego like a month ago. 46 or two years after. old. Come on, guys. <laughs> I went there after and I went cave diving for like the first time. And I was fucking terrified. I was terrified. It was like one of my biggest fears was like swimming into a cave. Uh huh. And we fucking went at like kind of high tide. So I, and I don't like bugs. I really don't like bugs. We're up against like the rocks, these fucking trilobite looking things, like scary ass beach bugs are everywhere. Like the fucking creepy amoebas on the wall. I don't even know what they are. Where the, what the fuck? <laughs> I know. I was like petrified. But you know, like, I don't I, know. If I, I'd be afraid of a fucking fin. <laughs> a dorsal fin. Give me a chocolate eye anytime. Or what is it, a troglodyte? I don't know what the fuck it's... Trilobite. Trilobite. I don't know. Whatever it fucking was. I'm talking prehistoric <laughs> shit. But... But yeah, but I went case flunking and I fucked up my leg. Like, I have this big, nasty-ass scar, like, on my shin. And it's gonna be there forever. Oh. And... It doesn't look bad, though. Have you know. seen my Walking Dead legs? As my friend, <laughs> as my friend Craig says, I have. <laughs> Fuck you, Craig, bitch. Walking mother- Dead. <laughs> yeah, because you know I got the little bruising from the varicose veins, and he mm-hmm. says they look like Walking Dead legs. <laughs> oh uh, shit! Okay. You got some zombie ass legs. <laughs> so okay, so you went yeah. into the cave. So I went into the cave. I fucked up my leg, but but that was like a moment where like I cried a couple times, but I like overcame. A lot. And oh, it was I so saw your yes, I did see your story on and that, like, and I felt like that was like the beginning of a lot for me too. Facing your fears was yeah, facing my fucking fears yep. and going for it, even though like I probably like I was safe. I was with people who were like keeping me safe, but at the same time, it's like nerve wracking when you know, like you get swallowed up by a wave a couple times. Yeah, you don't know. You, you don't hear, fucking you know. You hear stories about it all the time, and you're like, oh god, am I gonna be one of those statistics? Where it happens to me, 
I mean, I'd go to a fucking ocean and a, a shark would see me and be like, oh, yeah, motherfucker. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be eating for days. Because <laughs> he's 46 and juicy. Juicy. Still, um, what yes, I, am. I, I have. Okay, so you're not going to believe this. And I swear to God, this is not an ad uh, on a product. I, but I'm telling you, I have used the same ghetto ass shampoo for years. And it's the Suave Daily Clarifying. And then, of course, I use a certain type of leave-in conditioner that they sell at my local black beauty supply called uh, QP Elasta, okay. the mango butter. So the last two times I've bought my um, uh, Suave Daily Clarifying Shampoo, it's turning colors. So it turns like this really disgusting green. So I contacted the company, nothing. I called them, nothing. What? So I was like, you know what? I'm on the hunt for another ghetto-ass um, shampoo. Now my hair, I'm I'm really oily. My scalp is really oily, so it's really hard. That was the only one that I know. All you hair fashionistas are like um, sucking your teeth and getting a voodoo doll, voodoo doll of me made right now about the shampoo that I used to use. But I've upgraded. Okay, so I fell in love with a product. What? It products from this company. So Dove came out with a charcoal oil control mm -hmm. shampoo. Okay. And guess what? I'm near down to the bottom of it, and it has not changed colors. It's still clear. Okay. It's fabulous. Again, it's not for everybody, but I have extremely strong, thick hair. It's also very oily. So if you're going to try, if you have dry hair, do not try this product. And then, I, since I was looking at all the Dub products, I, I needed a new body exfoliator. And since I ain't getting no free gratis anymore, <laughs> I decided to... I, shit, I was in... Um, Dollar General or Family Dollar or Dollar Tree, one of them. No, not Dollar Tree because they're they're not to this level yet. But anyway, <laughs> it'll sell Dove. Um, I found the Dove um, rice milk and macadamia nut body exfoliator. Wow. And feel me. It, I used it this morning. What the fuck? It is, it's probably equivalent to um, Ula Hendrickson's uh, Walnut Scrub. But not okay. for the face. Okay. I've not tried it on the face yet. Don't get me wrong. I probably will. But as far, but I'm I'm getting falling in love with the Dove products, mm. you know. And um, but look at even the sheen of it. That's really yeah. nice. Yeah. So it, it comes one in. One dollar. Well, no, this one is like three ninety nine. Cause what? yeah, so it's oh, because you're at Dollar General. Yeah, Dollar General. So it's like three ninety nine, four ninety nine. I know it's under five bucks, but it's in that um, it's in a little jar, and it's called Dove body um it's not even called body they try to be all fancy it's like body oh body polisher oh, yeah something like that but yeah fancy. so yeah uh, but i'm gonna i'm gonna get you one next time I'm over there so you can try it <gasps> okay yeah but other than that you know i've been on vacation for a lot <laughs> this past um two months i went to of course arizona to go see my besties out there and then i went to go see madonna in vegas for the 10th time 10 10 time and girl people i got interviewed by madam x tv it's going to be on the website pretty soon i had so many people come up to me because they liked my look and i made a joke about this on the facebook post i posted i was like um i look like this every day why are they being so judgy <laughs> <laughs> why am i being singled out because i look like me but yeah i had these queens girl girl honey you look you slaying it tonight girl i'm like i just i'm i'm just me <laughs> But yeah, um, I was literally one foot away from Madonna, and I told Olivia earlier she is the same size as you, same height. I, it was I, 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 if she would have touched me, I would have passed out. Of course, everybody thought it would be because the big guy just had a heart attack because he had too much hot dogs, you know, in the in the in the Coliseum. <laughs> Well, you know, some oh, of them fuck. offer free popcorn and all that oh, salt. And yeah. you know how I love pickles. So, yeah. but... <laughs> <laughs> but I would have I would have woken up and I would have came to and be like, no, it's because this Italian god has touched me. It's not because I ate too much salt, motherfucker. <laughs> Are my eyebrows okay? <laughs> but yeah, so um, I'm working at a restaurant. I went back to my roots. I waited tables 25 years ago. I'm back to waiting tables while I start a new venture, well, uh, which I will talk about in later. Um, the new venture is unbelievable. I'm so excited about it. Um, 
hopefully eliminate your part of it in the future. But yeah, so, um, but yeah, and I just been chilling, living life. I feel so free. I feel, I feel good. So, but, um, yeah, so that's about it for me as far as what I've been doing. Um, and as far as anything that's changed cosmetically. Yeah. <laughs> Cause wait, like work. No, that didn't come out. Did you get work done? <laughs> you, look, you know, when they say, when they say you look refreshed, it means you've had work done. <laughs> but anyways, but yeah. So other than that, um, just doing the hustle. I'm ex- I, I love waiting tables. It's basically taking everything that I did at my old, can I allowed to say that? No, oh, we'll just, we'll just skip it for now. We'll skip it. We'll skip it for now. It's everything that I did at my old retail place, but I get tipped for it now. And since I'm older I can be kind of snotty and bossy to my tables which I am and they fucking love it <gasps> yeah I yeah I don't put up with that shit when, what are you guys getting? no you'll get the potatoes they go great with that fucking steak okay <laughs> 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 and I and I love where I work because it is the price point is like me it's Above average. You love the place. I, I fucking love it. Okay, so if you guys want to know, it's Colorado's Rib and Chop House. Um, it's brand new. It is. It's it's delicious. Olivia so loves good. it. I, I'm there like what? Like how many how many times was I there last month? Um, like six. Yes, and by the way, Olivia and Jay, um, great tippers. Even when your mom's soup came out cold, or no, it wasn't ready. It wasn't ready. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, but yeah. yeah so you guys can come and see me there. All of our listeners worldwide, if you want to see me before next year when I start modeling again, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so. And, and anything else new that we need to talk about? Because I haven't seen, I, we haven't been in the same room forever. You know, I would say, you know, like, you know, you, you just talked about what, like, new job that or, like, new career that you started. So, like, for me, like, I went from always being in a corporate company i always work for corporate now i work for a small independent like pretty much like startup company isn't it great and it's so different it's so fucking different it actually is freeing and we work very very closely with our ceo Mm -hmm. and it's actually in um it actually is within like the cannabis industry are we doing a little plug here olivia because i already did one up for my job (laughs) Yeah, so I, you know, work for a company that, like, sells, like, um, like, padded protection, like, type of backpacks and bags for the cannabis industry. Some of you may know it's called Dime Bags. I work for a company that distributes them, and... All I know is when you said padded protection, I was like, oh, but what does it have to do with boys? (laughs) Me. (laughs) But then I got it. (laughs) No, so I love the name Dime Bags. It's super fucking yeah, cool. Yeah, that's that's cool. That's just dope. And and so like we work for the distribution company. So like it's cool. Like as like the cannabis industry is growing, it's like a whole bunch of um, uh, lots of like different like stores, like smoke shops, surf shops, skate shops. You know, and that's those, where it's at right now. Those types of specialty specialty shops are like you know reaching out and selling like selling the bags. So it's it's really fucking cool, and it's a whole different dynamic, and um, and it's a lot of fun, but. I'm still, we're still doing makeup, we're still talking skin, we're still talking all of that yes. because that and, is who we are. And we are still working for cosmetic team. brands. We still are working for cosmetic yes, brands. Yes, I am, I'm freelancing for a couple brands. I'm not going to say who they are because that may be changing pretty soon. <laughs> 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 yes, nothing stays forever, dear. Um, I know you have a sweet little gig with who yeah. you're with. Yeah, so um, I have a couple different um, Which I'm trying to well. get on board with that. <laughs> wink, wink. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, hey, y'all, anybody that's listening. But yeah, so, but um, but it's cool because um, I loved when I left my retailer job after 13 years. Always on time, never late. Dependable, number one surveys. But we'll, uh, again, this is for anybody that's listening to what's off from me. Yeah, part-time gig freelancing um (laughs) when i left and when you left i got tons of offers i know you did and um i think i did the right decision but things change in the cosmetic industry all the time but yeah so i still love talking about beauty but i think our main goal for this first episode was to of the of the second season or the first depending how you look at it was to um broaden our horizons with this yeah you know i want is that to- life is all about like transition and change and like nothing like 
If you don't step out of your comfort zone and try yes. new things, you don't fucking grow. Exactly. And um, so with our goal with this podcast is it's not to cure cancer. I mean, that'd be fucking awesome. That'd be cool. <laughs> but it's to uh, still talk about things, beauty, skincare, things we love, but also to go on a broader spectrum of things that we're passionate about. Yeah. And just be real. And just be real. And, you know, we are two little young small town girls uh one of us is a uh, oh wait <laughs> um but it's just basically to give our insight on the huge world and what and our take on it and i think that's a great uh concept so um all of our old listeners i know there are a few of you that um have been asking me almost weekly where's the new episode when are y'all recording what the fuck's going on have you lost weight have you gained weight bitch <laughs> Here we are. Yeah, here we are. Because <laughs> of that last one. Oh, my God. Anyway, but if you have any other questions, like, let us know. And, like, we'd love to hear any of our... Tell us what you've been up to in the last four months. We'd love to hear. Yes, and uh, by the time you hear this, you're going to notice that something's a little different. Now, back to um, the TLC. TLC started with three. <laughs> Chili, Left Eye... And T-Boss, right? Mm-hmm. I think I'd be T-Boss because I got swag like no other. You'd definitely be chilly. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, where's Zach? <laughs> we love Zach. We love so Zach. Much. We so love Zach. Much. Yes. Um, Zach has decided to take other uh, ventures in life yeah. and do other uh, things uh, that he's doing. He's doing great. He is a, um, I need to reach out to him because, and I know you've talked to him recently, mm-hmm. but um, um, we love Zach. He is, he's like my little brother. I still worry about him all the time. And Zach, if you're listening, which I hope you are, um, you know, we couldn't continue anything new without going back and talking about you. But yeah, and hopefully he can come and join us for like future episodes, you know, Maybe, like a little guest bitch. spot. Yeah, you never know. But yeah, so uh, but we have nothing but love for Zach. There, nothing seedy or vile went on. Um, but yeah, but you know, that's life. People do different things and I'm just happy to be with you. Oh, oh my gosh. So Michael and I, we have to talk about another time about like when we first met. And, like, when we first started pursuing bigger things together. Yes. And how much of a shit show that was. Oh, <laughs> my That's God. That's a whole other fucking you, No, time. on a scale of 1 to 10, this one's a 20, this if, one if, if a I know what you're talking 20. about. Yes. Oh, shit. Anyways, um, we are excited. We're going to start up a brand new Instagram. Please subscribe. We're going to have our Twitter going back and up. And we back up, back and up. Back in back action. In that ass up. Yeah, we're gonna be back in action with Twitter, our Instagram, and we are going to do this thing like nobody's business. Anyways, thank you for listening. We love you. And again, Zach, we love you. And yeah, and we'll talk to you or we'll be back next week. Peace out.